Hi, I'm Pedro from Dominica Republic. This is my greeting for what Chantel from United States, Georgia. Chantel and Pedro Yimeno's marriage is not like any others. Besides the natural difficulty of being an intercultural couple, the Yimenos also have to deal with family feuds, fights, jealousy, and even scam rumors. With so many problems, how do Chantel and Pedro manage to keep the relationship in place? Or is their marriage crumbling? There are still many unanswered questions when it comes to this couple, though it's undeniable that their controversial relationship is the reason viewers have been turning into the family Chantel for two seasons. Do you want to know more about them? Keep with us to discover hitherto unknown facts about the family Chantel. Very well known is the fact that Chantel's family has always been wary of Pedro's intentions, and Chantel's younger brother, River Everett, is no different. River is not afraid of showing his dislike for his brother-in-law, something which was often demonstrated, and when a fight between the men unfolded during a family dinner showcased in the family Chantel's prequel show, 90 Days Fiancé. Although at the time, the fight between Pedro and River raised eyebrows, nowadays, they are somewhat friendlier with each other. Not very interested in his family's drama, River keeps to himself mostly and prefers to focus on his music projects. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either iPhone Max, iPad Mini or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Under the artistic name River Knight, in September 2019, the younger Everett brother made his debut as a singer with the song Anime followed in 2020 by other songs such as Got It and Cupid's Trilogy, which achieved considerable success on the indie music scene. However, will River ever successfully separate his career from his family controversies? The answer is still uncertain, as only time will tell. But for now, self-promoting his music through his Instagram account is slowly opening doors for River's career. Chantel and Pedro Yimeno have been publicly judged not only for their circumstances of their engagement and subsequent marriage, but also for the tumultuous relationship with their in-laws. Besides that, the couple is also questioned by the media about less grim but just as serious topics, such as children and whether or not they plan to have any. Just as the couple told US Magazine in late 2020, their plans of becoming parents have been put on hold for an indefinite period. On Chantel's part, she recently graduated from nursing school and plans on pursuing a master's degree in the near future. While Pedro's career plans are unknown, his reason in refraining from becoming a father is related to his actual inability to financially provide for a family of his own. It also seems that Pedro has mixed feelings about parenthood and what it entails, as he doesn't want to make the same mistakes of his absent father. Of course, Chantel and Pedro's reasons to wait longer to have kids are legitimate, and for now, their relationship with their in-laws is understandably overwhelming enough for them to not even consider having their own family. Appearing in a reality TV show means sacrificing a lot of your privacy for the sake of ratings, fame, and presumably money. So not everything is negative in this reality industry. The production process, camera work, and locations are especially low cost for reality shows, leading to a win-win situation as networks don't have to invest too much to obtain high earnings, some passed on to the participants. Salaries in this genre can be very generous at times, though there are a handful of celebrities who can win millions of dollars per show season. Less well-known reality TV stars can attract a minimum of $500 per episode, according to a Business Insider report. While the exact amount of Chantel and Pedro's earnings from the show is undisclosed, it has been revealed that they earned $1,000 per episode for their appearances in 90 Day Fiancé. Considering that their own show, The Family Chantel, is exceedingly successful, their earnings are estimated by sources to be around $50,000 per season. Even if these salaries won't make them millionaires, the fame the Imenos have obtained through the show has landed them several paid promotions on social media. In Chantel's case, she gained certain fame as an influencer in having over 700,000 followers on Instagram, something which has landed her several sponsorships and paid promotions. It's not a secret that the dramatic situations in the family Chantel can be overwhelming at times, causing controversy not only for the problems between the Imeno Everett clan, but for the apparently negative way the family's dynamics are portrayed in it. Whether the Everett's are accusing Pedro of tricking Chantel into marrying him, or about Nicole Imeno's hatred towards her sister-in-law, it's undeniable that the show has a lot of potential to attract harsh criticism, to the point that people have gone so far as to assume that situations in it are scripted. Is the family Chantel stage that? There's no way to confirm or deny that accusation just yet, but the constant rumors and viewers' doubts about her family show have led to Chantel to openly address these issues. In an interview with Associated Press, Chantel affirmed that having family-related problems wasn't something to be ashamed of, also attesting that the program is meant to show real people's struggles and not to sugarcoat them. Even if the words might not disperse against the negative reviews, it's worth noting that at the end of the day, drama is the charm of the family Chantel and what ultimately captivates its audience. 
If you've been following Imeno's love story since the beginning, you may remember when, in an episode of the prequel show 90 Day Fiancé, Chantal's mother, Karen Everett, accused Pedro's mother of grooming her son into tricky women in order to obtain American nationality. As expected, the Everett matriarch's serious allegations caused controversy and increased the already long record of potential scandals the couple already had at the time. Karen, however, didn't retract her words, even affirming that her daughter's mother-in-law, Lydia, had hired a firm of lawyers dedicated to advising non-Americans interested in staying in the US. Were Karen's claims true, though? Fans were curious about this as well, ultimately leading a group of Reddit users to dig into the depths of the internet until they found Lydia Imeno's now-defunct professional website. What they found isn't incriminatory at all. Although Lydia's business indeed offered legal services, it was mostly focused on advising people on divorce, companies' establishments, and contracts. Though discovering these details straight away refuted Karen's affirmations about Pedro and his family, it unfortunately damaged Lydia's professional image in an unfair way. Pedro's sister Nicole is undeniably one of the most controversial members of the family Chantel due to her eccentric attitude and ability to create problems for other people. Nicole is widely disliked by Chantel and her family for various reasons, and while the animosity steaming off her brother's family-in-law towards her might seem excessive at times, Nicole hasn't necessarily been kind towards the Everett clan either. Despite her problematic personality flaws, Nicole isn't deterred by what anyone else thinks of her. Her enviable confidence is also a positive trait, which led her to try her luck in a beauty pageant. Nicole represented the Valverde's province in 2016's Miss Earth Dominican Republic contest and was crowned the winner, subsequently gaining the right to represent her country in that year's Miss Earth, a beauty pageant contest celebrated in Manila, Philippines. During her promotional video for said international competition, Nicole introduced herself as a proud representative of her nation and an ecological ambassador. However, her efforts were unfortunately wasted, and she was unplaced during the contest's first elimination round. Undeterred, Nicole is apparently still trying to make her career as a model thrive. The love story of Chantel and Pedro is nothing if not conventional. They met during her vacation in the Dominican Republic, and though she returned to the US afterwards, distance wasn't enough to separate them, and for years, they maintained a long-distance relationship. The cultural differences and lack of knowledge of each other's languages made everything more complicated at times. But once the couple overcame these barriers, they were just small problems of the many that awaited them. As is well known, the overprotectiveness and interference of their respective families in their relationship had an obvious negative effect on them to the point that they sought out professional help for their marriage. We are still working on trying to keep things between Pedro and I and not letting the outside world affect us, Chantel told Hollywood Life in 2019. Though it's unknown if nowadays they're still attending counseling for help with their issues, the positive effect it had on them is noticeable for the way their relationship seems to have improved in the family Chantel. Being in the entertainment industry inevitably exposes you to the judgmental opinions of the media and the audience in general. Whilst that doesn't seem to be a problem for many celebrities, sometimes it can understandably be bothersome. As any other reality stars, every day Chantel faces criticism about herself. One of the most recurrent rumors is that her name is fake and that she's actually named Sierra. People who favor this idea argue that it makes sense for her to have a nature-related name, such as her siblings, River and Winter have. This theory is still unconfirmed though. While Chantel's fake name rumor has been going around for years, malicious comments regarding her body and her alleged plastic surgery have caused more uproar recently. However, these have also been addressed by Chantel. In an Instagram post of 2020, she posted a picture of herself from 2009 next to a more recent one to demonstrate that her proportions haven't changed in the slightest, except for gaining weight. Of course, coming forward to defend herself didn't sit well with her detractors, but refuted the negative critiques about her body once and for all. Many people dream of appearing in their favorite TV shows, but only a handful of people are able to achieve such a feat. This is Chantel's case, who was a loyal 90-day fiancé viewer from its premiere in 2014. According to an interview with the Chicago Tribune in 2019, she confessed that prior to being cast in the program, she had thought that her relationship with Pedro would never have such serious problems as the couples depicted in the show have. Fast forward a couple of years, and Chantel and Pedro were cast to appear in the fourth season of 90 Day Fiancé after secretly becoming engaged. As expected, Chantel's idea of showing off how solid her relationship was didn't work well. Problems with them started when her family discovered her compromise with Pedro, who had traveled to the US with a K-1 visa with the intention of marrying her within a three-month span. Nevertheless, as the couple gained popularity, TLC decided to showcase them in the spin-off Happily Ever After, and they were subsequently given their own show, The Family Chantel. Despite how far they've come, Chantel and Pedro's love story hasn't been an easy one. However, the hardships they have gone through have fortunately taught them valuable lessons in life, and as far as can be judged, have brought them closer together. The princess, the queen, the pinky winky, pinky winky, pinky winky. 
Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.